This movie tells a story about two cinema workers, Hilary and Stephen, in a drama about the power of human connection during turbulent times set in an English coastal town in the early 1980s. First of all, this movie is technically brilliant. It has great cinematography, compelling music, and very good production design. Unfortunately, everything else is disappointing. The film has so many different focuses that it ends up building to nothing. It's a complete mess with no strong ideas or purpose as the film manically wanders through various stories and ideas with little follow-through. It's an ambitious undertaking that feels like several different movies cramp into one. It's a romance, a socio-political study, a tribute to cinema, an exploration of mental health stigmas, a workplace drama, and the list goes on and on. None of it feels successfully explored despite the best work from all involved. The script tries to do too much and be too much. None of the ideas gets the attention needed to project the kind of importance the movie is going for. It's too much to juggle as the movie has too much on its plate. The story feels like a patchwork of loosely connected ideas with some carrying enough weight to be their own movie. So we end up with a film that feels stitched together and that never reaches the heights it's clearly aiming for. It's chaotic and hollow, creating a shocking yet boring future that amounts to so little it's almost embarrassing. It's a film that has all the tools needed to be excellent, but drops the ball with no idea on how to put these puzzle pieces together. This chaos leads to a bloated 113 minute runtime that is a chore to sit through. Period film where all the pieces seem attractive on paper, but end up assembled in a form so shockingly annoying. There's not enough characterization and chemistry between Olivia Colman and Michael Ward who play the two main characters. The script makes light use of various issues such as racism, mental illness, and workplace sexual harassment to define certain characters, yet the lack of logic and development prevent them from fully conveying the ignorant truths of the social norms of the 1980s. Even the main plot, which is the relationship between Hillary and Stephen, is marred by underdevelopment and insufficient logic. To make it worse, the romance dynamic becomes increasingly buried beneath a barrage of disconnected subplots whose literal and symbolic meanings the movie cannot seem to connect or express with any kind of verve. All of the cast try their best and try to stabilize the narrative through light humor and tender moments, but the narrative ultimately drags down any positive aspects of the movie. Olivia Colman's performance is as strong as ever, but her power is absolutely wasted and the character ultimately becomes a failure of execution by the filmmakers. Similar to Coleman, Michael Ward is giving really good work here, but the performance alone can only do so much. The script doesn't always put them in the best positions as well. There are sequences and performances that work and are incredible, yet as a future, there's nothing here that finds a proper conclusion or message. Overall, it's not really worth to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.